Salutations, viewers. My name is Brandon Davis, and we're coming to you live from FlameCon with artist Christopher Anka, and you're watching Comics Verse. Thank you for having us here today, Mr. Anka. Hi. How's it going? Not bad, not bad. It's been a pretty good day so far. That's right, good to hear. Now, right now, you and Rainbow Row are working on The Runaways, which is out next month. And it's a revisitation, you know, seeing how everyone's doing, you know, after being gone for a little bit. Yeah. So we're wondering if you might be able to, like, give us a little bit more hints as to what's to come or how things might be a little different for them. Okay. Uh, well, basically, we're picking up uh, what has fundamentally been a few years for them since they've kind of been together. Uh, it's been basically two years since Gertz uh, had died. And so we are picking up with how they're going to solve bringing Gert back. And the story thus far is about how we're getting them all back together. Okay. How is it to, how does it feel to come back to a group that's been like so beloved and there's like a whole new series in the work, a, mo a TV series in the works for them and everything. Um, various members have, are doing their own thing. How's it feel to like take the reins from that? And like, is there like any like weird pressure you might be feeling, or like any of your own like expectation you have for yourself when it comes to you like you know putting these artists back on the page? Uh, there was a lot of pressure uh, when he, when they first offered it to me. I actually was really scared. I kind of I almost turned it down. Um, I think for everyone kind of our age, that was a really big book. Um, it was like it's like kind of offering like the X-Men to like people who grew up in the 80s. So it was like it was this terrifying thing. And I really and I really didn't want to sign on until I read the scripts. And the scripts were so good that I was like, okay, I have to do it. Um, but there's a there's a lot of pressure. I mean, I think th these kids mean a lot to a lot of people. And, and to me. Like, you know, I grew up in LA. The book came out when I was a freshman in high school. Like I knew these kids. So being able to actually handle them and be part of that world was something I could not not do. Right, right. And I think we're all looking forward to, like, just what kind of, like, magnificent work you're going to put out. And when it comes to when you're working on a book like this or any book in, or any book in general, how would you describe your creative process? Like, you know, how do you put the pen to the paper as opposed to, like, when you make, like, your single drawings or, like, single figures, you know, just doing their own thing and make others interact with each other? Yeah. Um, I mean, with this at this point, you know, it's been a few years now, so I've kind of gotten my process uh, figured out mostly. Uh, but with this book specifically, we're kind of changing it up in the fact that I asked uh, for my for my editors and my and, and Rainbow to sort of let me take more control over the actual page. Uh, so in a lot of the scripts, Rainbow isn't breaking down panel by panel like most scripts. Uh, she just give me beat by beat of what's supposed to happen on the page. And I can kind of sort of take the reins and really figure out the actual book making part of it, uh, which is kind of nice because you know, I've had years of experience learning off other people's scripts and all that. So now I actually, I can sort of do most of the work on my end, which is really nice. And it's, it's, it's a, been a bit of a learning curve uh, where there's actually way more rounds of notes because things haven't been already figured out. Uh, but it's been really good. I can really stretch my legs on it. Coming off of that, now, you say you're in more control over the process, like how things are going to be like laid out and how like the book flows and everything. Uh, do, with what you're learning now, are you going to be able to like put that to work with your future titles or like maybe you might want to go like solo yourself maybe? Uh, maybe eventually. Maybe eventually, maybe eventually yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, coming from that, um, we're here at FlameCon, a celebration of all things LGBT and representation. How do you feel representation on various genders and people's like outlooks on how they are. How do you think that's being represented now in like comics and various media today? Like do you think it's do you think it's like being shown correctly or do you think it might like be taken advantage of? How do you feel it is today? Uh, I think it's better. I don't think it's great, but I think it's better. Um, I think sort of the problem is that it's it's so loaded in the fact that there is so much, there's so many different kinds that there is almost never enough. Um, and the best that anyone can do is try to be honest with what they know. Uh, and hopefully we're at a point in which there will be so many people doing it 
that we will then get a natural uh, variety. Um, but we're still getting there. Do you feel like do you feel like there's like a dream like project or like something you might want to work on yourself that may try and like push the envelope a little bit, like you know, try and get more of that out there, or like is there anything you wish to create yourself or like any ideas? Uh, I, in terms of dream books, um, I mean it was kind of runaways, so I'm kind of being able to do that now. Uh, but in terms of like my own stuff, eventually uh, it hasn't quite formed itself yet, so I don't really know. But there's definitely like I, it's definitely there's the urge is there, but how to do that I haven't quite figured out yet. Well, I think in due time we're going to see some amazing work from you. Uh, so. Thank you for that. Um, do you have any other projects down the line, like any any like little tidbits or secrets in the industry? Uh, right now, it's just runaways, just sort of focusing on that uh, because it's it's you know it's a lot of work and it's, it's there's a lot of pressure on it. Uh, so right now, I'm just focusing on that. Well, thank you for your time with us today, Mr. Anka. Thank you so much for the wonderful input here. Thank you. For more interviews like this, reviews, podcasts, and everything else, you can visit us at comicsverse.com. My name is Brandon Davis, and we're signing off.